friends in Christ, welcome to Saturday after Ash Wednesday. The dream of most people, if not all, is to get to the top of their chosen career in life. That often requires hard work, but we know for certain that hard work alone is not enough. The grace of God on the efforts we make is very important. The season of Lent is a classical example as it presents an uncommon season of grace to get better spiritually and getting better spiritually however also requires that we first get better in the way we live and relate with others our first reading today is from the prophet isaiah chapter 58 verses 9 to 14 and is a continuation of what we read yesterday in which god through the prophet isaiah taught the people that the external observances of fasting is not enough to have their voices heard, but it must go with social justice and love for their neighbors. God obviously shows special consideration for the poor and the weak in the society. God tells us in today's passage that there is the need to take away the yoke, the pointing of the finger, and speaking wickedness, pour yourself out for the hungry and satisfy the desire of the afflicted. It is obvious from this that fasting itself is useless unless we change our evil ways. To take away the yoke means we have to stop burdening other people, particularly those who cannot challenge our authority. It means we must stop making a slave of the other. To take away the pointing of the finger means we must stop looking to the faults of others alone. Because when you point a finger at the other, you have the remaining pointing back at you. Take away the log in your own eyes. You will see clearly enough then to see the dust in the eye of the other. To stop speaking wickedness means you stop all idle gossip about others, you stop maligning people, you stop lying about them, and speak the truth and nothing but the truth in all cases. To pour yourself out for the hungry means you are not just giving from your leftover, but giving till it hurts. And to satisfy the desire of the afflicted is an invitation to look beyond yourself at this season and to attend to the needs of others even when they have not asked for help. That you notice the need and respond generously. The Lord says, if you do this, he will make you ride upon the heights, will feed you with the heritage of Jacob, gifts beyond measure, blessings unmerited. The Gospel from Luke chapter 5 Verses 27 to 32 reveals the loving kindness of God towards the sinner. Jesus did not only save the tax collector from his sins, he also gave him an inheritance that should belong to the saints by saying to Levi, Follow me. The Pharisees found it difficult that Jesus did that, and indeed, he sat at table to eat with tax collectors and sinners. I have not come to call the righteous but sinners to repentance, says Jesus. So Jesus is searching for you. Make yourself available. Let us pray. Lord, I have sinned against you. Have mercy on me. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>